All right, well, hello and welcome, everybody. Today is Saturday, March 21st, 2020. And today I'm coming at you guys with an unboxing video. And um, you guys have not seen an unboxing video on my channel in a very long time, so I hope you'll enjoy. And this is also going to be a review video, so it's going to be a two-in-one. So I've got something here to show you guys. I ordered this off of eBay. And show you guys what's inside and as far as I know the item that is inside this box is completely new to YouTube It has never been shown on YouTube before so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the scissors here and we're gonna Start cutting into this box. All right, so I had to uh, slice through all the tape on the box But it should be ready to open now. So let's go ahead and open this box up and see what's inside And get it open with one hand this is a little difficult to do now I need to buy a tripod. I got a camera. I need to buy a tripod. All right. Now what have we got here? That's right. Got ourselves a radio microphone. Let's go ahead and uh, take this guy out of the packaging. I just love opening up... Uh, these new Kenwood microphones. Alright. So as you guys can see, this is the new Kenwood KMC-65 microphone. This is Kenwood's uh, newest microphone. It was released, or it was introduced sometime around May of 2019. It was according to um, the conversation on the radio reference forums, they originally gave a sneak peek of it in the release of the um, Kenwood NX-3920, I believe it was. It started being produced sometime around June, I think. It actually just popped up on eBay about a month ago or so, and the guy had a whole bunch of them for sale brand new, so I went ahead and uh, picked one up, but this is the replacement for the uh, KMC-35. Kenwood hat was uh, most recently using the KMC-35 and uh, KMC-36 microphones, but they finally got rid of that design and came up with something new, which is pretty neat. The KMC-35 and KMC-36 models had already been out for a very long time. I remember they were just starting to replace some of the old um, KMC-27 microphones with the KMC-35s uh, when I was in elementary school riding the uh, first student school buses. Their buses had Kenwood TK-880s. And uh, most of them had KMC-27 microphones, which were the microphones that were standard before the KMC-35 came out. But they were just starting to replace uh, those old KMC-27s with the 35s, and this was probably sometime between 2008 and 2010. So the KMC-35 um, has been out for a very long time, and it is definitely time for a facelift. So this is the standard KMC-65. The KMC-66 is the DTMF uh, version, so it has the uh, DTMF pad on us. This microphone will become the new standard as far as what's being offered with the Kenwood radios. If I understand correctly, the KMC-35 and KMC-36, both of those models have since been discontinued. I just want to do a review of this microphone. It's um, very different, as you guys can see, but um, just my uh, first impression, it's uh, it's a lot fatter. The KMC-35 is a much um, slimmer design. This is a little bit of a um, wider, fatter design, but I really like the um, action in this push to talk button. As far as uh, how much it weighs, it's it's pretty much the same weight as the KMC-35, possibly a little heavier. It feels really good in my hand. It's a very solid um, feel. I feel like I have a good grip on it. You know, it's not really easy to slip out of your hands or whatever. Um, like I said, I really love this clicky action with the um, push to talk button. So, what do you guys think about this microphone compared to the um, KMC-27, the KMC-35, what do you guys think about this? I want to hear your feedback because I've seen a couple people say that they actually don't like this design. They like the old um, 35 and 36 better. For those of you who are just looking at this video and for those of you who actually own one of these microphones already, 
Um, what do you guys think? Right now, there's really no good way to test the long-term dependability. I suppose I will um, find out because I'm going to put this in my truck. And uh, we'll see how long it lasts, but I don't see anything that would make me think it wasn't built really well. I'm sure the cable is the same. You know, the cable um, is the same from the KMC35. So these things, you know, after you use them for um, several years, I'm sure they'll start to short out and not work very well anymore. But um, as far as the microphone head itself, it looks pretty, pretty um, rugged and dependable. So anyway, let's um, right now head out to the truck. I'm going to plug it into my NX800 and uh, we'll see how it works. Thought I would really quickly also um, show you guys the instruction manual that came with this. This is all there is. Everything else is um, in a different language. You know, pretty standard. Um, it can operate from negative uh, 22 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. I also say, of course, to get the best sound quality, um, you want to hold the microphone about three to four centimeters, which is uh, one and a half inches from the mouth. All right, guys, so we have moved out to my truck, and uh, right here I have the predecessor microphone, the KMC35, which I will be switching out with the uh, KMC65. For those of you who have seen video of my uh, truck before, you can see a change. I actually uh, moved the microphone clip up here from uh, down there beside the radio because it was getting really annoying um, having to reach down there and pick up the microphone, but I got a, a drill um, a drill kit and um, some self-tapping screws that I got from uh, some other vehicles stuff like that so uh, I mounted the microphone clip right here and um, it gets in the way a little bit when the shifter is down in drive but I can still uh, take the microphone off the clip safely if I'm uh, careful with it so I don't know I may move it up here or something I haven't decided yet but this seems like an okay place for it right now anyway I'm gonna go ahead and um, remove this from the radio and we're gonna do a little switcheroo here so there's the good old 35 which I'll be keeping just with the rest of them I have um, but let's plug this guy in mm. look at that nice new coiled cable let's put this in the clip mm, very nice so let's go ahead and uh, turn the truck on let's start it I'm going to flip it over to um, the Joliet uh, GMRS repeater. I'm going to call out there and see if anyone can give me a, a radio check. Um, and if no one gives me a radio check, I have one of my uh, portables. So um, I can just crank it up and you guys can hear the um, output. So anyway, let's go ahead and hop on the repeater and uh, do a quick radio check. WQXZ773 for a radio check. Alright. Well, it doesn't sound like anyone's going to give me a radio check, so let me just switch over to my um, simplex channels here. And um, let's go up to something going on on that channel. Anyway, uh, let me power up my uh, TK3173. And uh, we'll head on over to channel 9. Okay. Um... I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume up on this. It should be all right. Put it over there. Try not to talk too loud into the microphone so I won't get too much feedback, but uh, let's go ahead and do this. Radio check, one, two. Radio check, one, two. Check of the new uh, Kenwood KMC 65 microphone. Check, check, check. All right. 
Well, there you guys have it. That is my new um, Kenwood KMC 65 microphone. I do like it. There's one left on eBay, but you can probably purchase this through your local Kenwood dealer. So um, it's a great microphone, in my opinion. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how dependable it is. That's about it. So thank you guys very much for watching, and that will be it.